evening. This is your fucking captain speaking. We will soon be reaching an altitude of four million and a half feet. That's eight million miles in the sky. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Bobby93 Mac Boy. And today I have a really, really, really good app review for you guys today. Now the app I'm going to be reviewing is called Mouse Air Pro. And it is $6 from the App Store, which I know is really expensive for an app. But I did jailbreak my iPhone, so I figured out how to get apps for free off the iTunes Store. So I'm going to, or off uh, the App Store. So I'm going to be showing you guys in another video how to get any application on the app store for free so it could be hundred thirty dollars and you could get it for totally for free so it's really good plus now I'm gonna zoom in real quick so I uh, right now I have screen flow going and um, the my camera going so I'm gonna try to like show you guys the mouse working on here and on my computer at the same time I don't know how it's gonna work but I'll try to figure it out so I'm just gonna be talking from to both so um, now what this application is, it's called Mouse Air Pro and what it is is it pretty much turns your iPhone or iPod Touch into a mouse that connects to your uh, computer and it works really well so it's a really really cool application and I like it a lot so um, pretty much what you do, hold up um, so pretty much what you have to do is you have to buy the application from uh, the App Store like obviously and then um, you also have to go to their website and download a server that connects to your computer. And I'll show you guys that on uh, my computer real quick. Uh. Okay, well, anyway, so you have to uh, download the server and put that in. It's in the menu bar, and it just has a little icon in your menu bar. And I have it so it starts at login, so I never have to worry about opening it up. And what it does is every time you open this uh, application, it allows you to control your computer screen with the mouse. So it's a really cool feature. So as you guys can see, I'm just touching this little virtual trackpad, and it's dragging my mouse around my computer. And I'll just show you guys. I'm not touching my mouse right now I don't know if you can see my computer working I'll try to put this video side by side I don't know you can see it kinda in the blue yeah right there so my mouse is moving along with this now a really cool thing about this application is it has a lot of built-in native controls now so you just scroll around to scroll around a web page you tap on something to click so say I want to click on this you just tap and it clicks and then um, to scroll up and down it has these little this little bar and you go up and down or you can do it like a Mac trackpad and just put two fingers and go up and down so it has kind of a multi-touch gesture there which is really cool and plus it has a left and right click little pad then let me try to zoom in I don't know if you guys can see that but there's a left and right click so here's left and right so that's cool um, it also has a keyboard, so say you want to go to Google, you just bring it here, tap, and now it's in the search bar, and so say I want to say Apple, A-P-P-L-E, it shows you what you're typing on the trackpad, and also on the computer, and then you just click return, and then it searches for it, so that's really cool. Now, it also has the ability to do commands, so say you copied something, you can do command, C, and then click whatever you want, uh, so there it gives you that and then so say you want to get out of this little typing feature you just click close that and it opens up these safari uh, native preferences so now what it comes with is it comes with a uh, page forward button page backwards button a search button so it gives you it brings you straight to the search bar so you want to go to your home screen you click that and it goes to your home refresh stop refreshing favorite and then a plus and minus button. I don't know what those do. I haven't used them. So that's under this internet category. So as you guys can see, I don't know if you can see that right there. It has a music icon, a, like a World Wide Web icon, and then an F icon. And then over here on the right, it has a keyboard icon. So that's the internet option. That's the wide web, World Wide Web. So you click on iTunes. And then as you click on the iTunes, it opens iTunes up on your computer. And it opens this iTunes browser on... Um, this iTunes browser on your uh, uh, iPod. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and play a song by Eminem called Beautiful. You can either double tap it on your computer, hold up, or you can just press play. Lately I've been hard to read. Pause. You can next song.
go back start over actually and then click it again to go back there pause um, it has the option for volume up volume down mute uh, there's a little number button and then another up and down button so that's always cool and then same thing you can do two fingers to scroll up and down or just use this little scroll bar right and left click or you can just tap the screen which is always really nice uh, so that's the music browser now if you click on F this brings you to like kind of like a keyboard thing like all the commands so it has F1, F2, F3 now I believe that uh, dashboard is F4 so you click F4 and I'm not sure if it opens it up maybe not but so it has the all these controls it has arrow keys which is nice all these other things it's a really nice app now something really cool about this is just say you want to set it down on your desk so see I open Safari I click home it takes me to home say you want to just uh, set it down on your desk and use it as your mouse you turn it sideways and it opens as a full trackpad so as you can see this whole thing is now a trackpad there's no keyboard anything in your way if you right and left click oh see I did bugs it's really cool you guys this works really well as you guys can see right here up in the side I'll click on it using the mouse air mouse server settings you can reset the settings quit air mouse I don't recommend it I think this is a great application uh, it's just a really awesome thing to use so that is my review on air mouse Pro, or I think it's like Air Mouse something, and it's on the App Store. It's expensive, but I'll show you guys how to get it for free or any app for free in a future video. I highly recommend this application, and if you don't want to jailbreak your iPhone and you just want to get this, I definitely think it's worth the money if you don't want to have to carry around a mouse. It has a lot of really cool features, and it works seamlessly with your computer. I like it and I'm positive you will like it. Thank you guys for watching my videos. If you like them, please rate, comment and subscribe and I'll check you get and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.